Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use for to create a SAS loop. The for directive adds styles in a loop, very similar to a for loop in JavaScript. For is used in two ways, start through end or start to end. The main difference is that the start to end excludes the end number as part of the count. And the start through end includes the end number as part of the count. Here's a, exam here's a start through end example for index. A bling i from 1 through 12 we're going to add uh, the column with a class at index with the width of a hundred percent divided by 12 times index so the um, the here we're string interpolation with the index in there part the the string inter interpolation with the index part is the syntax to combine variable i with text to make a string. When SAS file is converted to CSS, it looks like this. So here they've divided it up <clears throat> because they're, you know, using the index. Interesting. This is a powerful way to create grid layout. Now you have 12 options for column widths available as CSS classes. Write a for directive that takes a variable J, uh, of uh, J and goes from 1 to 6. It should create five classes called dot text dash 1 to text dash 5 where each has a font size set to 15 pixels multiplied by the index. Okay, so your code should have a for directive. Interesting. Okay, so in the style, let's uh, we're going to go at 4 <clears throat> and then, yeah, write a for directive that takes a variable of j. And so we're going to go bling j. And from uh, 1 through 6, that goes from 1 through 6. 1 to 6 goes from 1 to 6. Here's an example of through, and then there's no example of 2. Okay, so here I've used through, but I think they mean <clears throat> for us to use two. Uh, that goes from one to six, so one to six. And uh, here we're going to add our uh, conditional statements or whatever we need in here. It should create five classes called text one to text five, where each has a font size set to 15 pixels multiplied by the index. Okay, so... I guess we're going to go, it should create five classes called text dash one. So yeah, so classes with text dash, and then here we want to interpolate the J. And um, interpolate the J that goes from one through to, to six. So that's going to be what this does. And then in here, we're going to add a rule that tells it how to do it. It should create five classes called text one through five, so that's what we're doing, and each should have a font size, uh, and that should be equal to 15 pixels multiplied by the index. So, 15 pixels multiplied by the index. 15 times, 15 pixels times, I don't use this at all, so I'm at a loss here times j oh my gosh so yeah that worked so basically what it's doing is it's going on the first one it starts by assigning the font size to 15 pixels because it's going from 1 to 6 so 1 times 15 is here so I mean I'm guessing if we inspect the element here we would see that text 1 has a font size of 15 pixels text 2 has a font size of 30 pixels so this is the text 2 this one, guess what, 45, right? Boom, 45 right there. What's next? 60. So yeah, basically we're just creating some sort of, we're using uh, kind of fancy SCSS to make the hello grow. And so with each one of these, we're <clears throat> uh, dynamically assigning text classes to it, and then we're writing it out down here, which is kind of strange. But the idea here is that you're using a for loop to assign, uh, you know, to do a kind of like a, an incremental loop through and you're able to set uh you know css classes based on that anyways hope this passes the test cool hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next lesson